Hello everybody and welcome to Survive the Blackout, a survival game set in a dark post-apocalyptic world, developed and published by Baby Bison Games. So yes, this is a game with a very minimalist art style, a very interesting sort of premise. I do like the sort of narrative survival games. It's, you know, it works out quite well, but we'll see that in a moment. As we normally start out and as we mean to go on, we'll take a look at the options. Effectively, there are none. However, <laughs> there is one, which I love. Disable quick time events. That's something that you don't see that often, but I really do like it. You've got a difficulty slider, of course, and a sound slider. Not a separate sound effect and music slider, because the music in this game is effectively ambient, so doesn't really matter that much. But it is nice that they included it all the same. Uh, but let's start off with a new game, shall we? There we go. We so, anticipated this. there is a story no. to it. It's effectively, there's Accidents a blackout, people go territorial and all Mad Max, and you effectively have to go around the world trying to survive, and it's all very dark what? and grim and all of that. But you have several characters to play as. You have got uh, right. different yeah. characters with different personality right. traits and what? abilities and so on. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go for... How do you play as that guy? Where is he? Yeah. Where is he? Yeah. What? There we go. Uh, he's a survivalist who was a mechanic before the apocalypse. There we go. It's, I don't know, quite useful, I guess. Uh, but we're just going to have a quick run through of this and see how it goes. Hopefully it'll go well, but you can never tell with this, can we? And it starts off like this. You get set out. You're in the world. You have a certain number of items. You can make camp. And most of it features around these options. And you have conversations. Everyone has their own opinions and so on. Uh, they all have bios which you can read through uh, to see their personality uh, traits and so on. But yes. So, it's someone who this guy knew. So, if we let him decide what to do. There we go. And uh, we can <laughs> we can steal his stuff. Which would be nice. Uh, so, why not? We might get some interesting stuff. Uh, there's a letter. We'll read it later. And there we go. We can go. Right. So there we are, and they're about to move out, and the last stop was a house, which we can search through, which gives us this. If we have a look in here, you have some food, that's fantastic. Some more food, and in the other end, uh, it seems to be locked. So we, as a mechanic, can tinker with the door, we can open it up, and there's nothing there. And a leather jacket, which we will take, and I think we can equip it, uh, but in order to do that, we have to go to camp. So there we go. Let's uh, go to our camp and prepare for the journey ahead. There we go. And you get this screen. From here, you can rest. You can talk to other people. Or you can just adjust what you have yourself. Mm. So, if we manage our resources. There we go. Ah. No. Okay. I've done that wrong somehow. However, how's he doing? He's doing okay. He does not actually need anything. Can we escape? No, we can't. We have to choose something. Um... <laughs> In which case, I guess we'll take the energy drink. There we go. Uh, let's do something else. Right. Mm. Inventory, that's it. Let's give him the jacket. Uh, there we go. And the jacket decreases fatigue whilst walking, which is quite useful. So there we are. Does anyone else have anything? Let's have a look in his inventory. Uh, he has a thing. Let's give him the letter. Also, let's give him a blanket. Or should we give that to the little kid? We probably should. Let's give you the blanket. There we go. Lovely. And from there, we can hit the road and move on. Perfect. And then you get through this. And then along the way, you can see uh, certain stuff. Uh, you get houses. You get groups of people. You get other survivors. You have to interact with them, see what happens. Let's look for a broken window. Okay. An empty dining room. No other people, uh, so we can search the house for some goods. Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, school stuff, apparently. Okay. Nothing there. Let's have a look in here. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, anything here? Let's tinker with the door. Oh, no! It's a guy with a bloody gun! Uh, surrender. There we go. Oh, it's a little girl. Okay. Um, she did it as self-defense. There we go. We, we're just buggering off. 
Perfect. And now we continue on the road. And it continues with that for quite a while. Uh, there's a lady there. We have to help her. There we go. Why not? Give us some medicine. We did a good thing today. <laughs> there we are. Uh, normally, the options you have are the typical survival ones. You've got the be nice to people, be selfish, or be in the middle. Uh, let's see if we can start one of those cars. Can we? No, we can't. Okay. Quickly search the nearest store. Anything there? Uh, there's not much. Okay. At least we found something. There we go. Now, every time you go past the stamina and uh, satiety? Satiety? I have no idea why they don't just say hunger. Um, those go down. Anyway, there we go. We'll avoid that place. And let's go. We'll move on. Uh, we're doing okay. Our morale is high. Stamina is quite low. We're going to need to rest for that. There's an abandoned construction site for a housing state. Let's check inside. Uh, pallets bro blocked in front of the door, making a barricade. Hmm. Let's see. We should knock. There we go. Uh, someone wants to go us to go away. So we respect her and leave. And let's focus on the road. There we go. I mean, we there are many options you have. Uh, sudden commotion from in front of us woke. Uh, this is where the uh, quick time events come in. It's not our business. We run. There we go. Smell of alcohol followed us, but we managed to run away. Let's never forget what we see. There we go. And we can move on. Some strangers moving slowly towards us. Far way away. We still had a chance to hide. Uh, let's see. We should hide somewhere. Wait and see what they do. They look like travellers, but contrary to us, they wanted to move away from the lights as they could. They uh, wanted to talk. Let's meet with them. There we go. Uh, we meet with them, and they're surprised that we're moving towards the light. They were doing exactly the opposite. Um, okay, there we go. So, they were just pretty nice people. Now, our stamina is going down quite a lot, so we are going to have to uh, make a camp soon. Let's go close to that. Grave emerged of us. Bodies laid out. Quite disappointing. Rob the bodies. There we go. Okay, let's go make a camp. So, first things first, everyone is going to sleep for a long sleep. There we go. And then we'll do something else. Okay. Everyone needs to have a little bit of food. How much food do we have? We have a little bit. We have enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. And now we can hit the road. We've all eaten a little bit. That's the main thing. Anyway, the cam's put away. We continue going. Uh, and it's effectively this over and over again. Right. An elderly man searching through the car wreck. His clothes have seen bad times. Uh, let's talk to him. We could rob him, which would be fun. Uh, right. Thank him and follow the path. There we go. The path he showed us was definitely the easiest. Uh, we're glad we listened to him and saved lots of energy. Now, you may have noticed there is something similar to this as those old uh, books you got, the adventure books, where you just went through and you, like, said, turn to page whatever to see what happens. It's that sort of narrative. It's very nicely done, and I do like the way it looks. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. He didn't gain anything from sharing info with us. There we go. And we can keep going. We are going to need some more food, though. Okay. We hear flies buzzing, uh, back in flashbacks, bodies rotting in an open grave. Will we ever be the same? What is wrong with people? There we go. Um, we'd like to believe there's still some good in people, but this, uh, won't let it happen to us. There we go. Good Boris. <laughs> Lovely. Right. Um, we should run. There we go. At least they're not following us. There we go. We're safe. Quick time events over. Um, okay. Shop's window's broken. Interior is covered with graffiti. As if someone put their frustration. Let's have a look inside. Shelves were broken too. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Some mood boosters. Medicine. Nothing. Nothing. Ah. A cane. Lovely. Uh, now, can we... We can't equip it to him until we set camp. Okay. Nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, 
run through the main door. There we go. They didn't expect us here. That slowed them down. They chased us. Okay, we were lucky. There we go. Okay. We'll set up a quick camp so that we can hmm. give ourselves a new item. Let's give you the cane. There we go. So that's his weapon now. Wonderful. How are they doing for energy? They're actually okay. That's fine. Let's hit the road. We're doing good. Um, <laughs> lovely. Is your morale as full as it can be? That's not bad. Right, let's keep going. Okay, we came across an obstacle. Fast floating river blocked by a road. Um, nearby bridge collapsed some time ago. What should we do? Alex has an idea, apparently. Uh, he found a boat and patched it just enough to get us by. Lovely. At least we're through. So there we go. Keeps on going until you die, effectively. Uh, there was a small town, barely a village alongside the road. Seemed abandoned. But we could spare the time to search it. Why not? We should definitely do that. Okay. Wynn approaches and asked us what we're doing. Uh, we thought the place was abandoned. She told us to leave. Houses were in. Uh, used to be hers. She didn't want to disturb the ghost of her past or belongings. Ask her for assistance. She refused and summoned a group of armed men. Bloody hell. Right. Let's go. <laughs> you don't expect that, do you? Um... There's a sign nailed to a tree near Frank's camp. One supposed to a doctor that was meant to help us. Let's look around. Let's have a look. Uh, we looked around. There was an old stash nearby. Food rations. Okay. Uh, it could be wise. Why not? There we go. Did we actually pick something up? I thought we did. The road led us through a forest. Suddenly attacked a group of desperate men. Armed, shouted at us, but they outnumbered us. Uh... We should surrender. They robbed us as we surrendered. Oh no, our medicine and boosters. Uh, if only we had something to defend ourselves. What a waste. Okay, let's... Hmm. A house emerged amongst the trees. We'll go closer. See if we can nick anything. Okay. Cloves. Nothing. Nothing. I need some food. A warm blanket's good. Nothing. Energy drinks, take that. Uh, Apologise for the intrusion. Oh, damn, she has a knife. Run. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Right. Let's go. Main thing is we're going to set up a camp because everyone's getting pretty damn exhausted. So Let's have a long sleep. Hopefully we won't get attacked in the night. There we go. But you slept, you slept like a little babby. Okay, we have one food left, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But we do need to get some other food quite quickly. Uh, let me see. Sudden barking towards us from a dog which ran towards its owner behind him. The animal looked like one of those breeds that you used to protect and fight. Wait for the owner to speak. Uh, we didn't look that suspicious to the man, so he warned us about a pack of stray dogs prowling around. Thank you for the advice. There we go. I think we could just wander on from there. Big problem, though. We are running very low on food. A uh, bunch of strangers are gracefully throwing out someone from a derelict building. We shouldn't meddle. We should just walk by. I think we would be beaten the hell out of if we actually tried to do anything. Man ran towards him with a small package in his arms. What will we do? Try to stop him? Uh, but he evaded us swiftly. Run after him. Damn, he's so quick. Okay. What a shame. Pack of hungry wolves. We should climb any tree. Uh, stay on the tree a bit longer. <laughs> Lovely. And we're safe. I will say, there are a lot of great things about this. Uh, we're just going to say none of our business. There we go. Um, but yeah, this is very nicely done. The atmosphere works very well. Let's have a close look at this quickly. And search anyway. Damn. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Another leather jacket. Nothing. Uh, tinkle with the door. Uh, run through the window. <laughs> there we go. We have to be more cautious in the future. Bloody hell. There we go. I'm surprised that didn't go worse. Jumping from whatever story window that was. Right, we stopped nearby ruins and slipped off our backpacks. It was so peaceful that we left there. What few something strange behind us. Who's there? Uh, silhouette running away with our backpacks. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> right, skinny young girl. Hadn't eaten for a long time. Okay, um, if, uh, okay, 
She'd return our stuff if we let her go. Okay, we'll leave her be and we'll take our stuff back. We will not share food with her because we haven't got enough left. Which is pretty damn bad. Um, we really need some food. He's weak. We can rob him. There we go. Rob this drunk guy. Uh, we will take the food. Okay. At least we didn't have to fight. That's the main thing. Also, we really do need to eat something. Look at us. We're not doing great. Uh, let's see. Make sure to say place is safe. Large tent belonged to someone important. Right next to the center of the encampment. Let's have a look inside. Abandoned papers. Um, and not really anything there. Okay, look at the state of the camp. Lots of disease, uh, diseases and robbers hit the camp. So lots of people dead, I'm presuming. Is there anything useful? Uh, anything useful has already been scavenged. Okay. Maybe we should just give up. Why not? Go for a bit of a mood. A bit of a downer mood. Whatever. Right, check his bag. Open some letters. Why not? We're nosy. We have to move on. Really was hoping for some more food. Um, you noticed someone following us for a few hours. Wasn't sure of their intentions. Let's, uh, wait for his reaction. Okay. We managed to talk to him. He said he's a traveler on his way to a friend's house. Can we rob him? Yeah, let's rob him. He fought, uh, fiercely fought, but eventually subdued him and took some of his resources. We should think about ourselves first. There we go. And we've now got enough food for everyone. Let's bury a guy. There we go. Uh, at least now, though, we can feed everyone. Oh, no. Boris. He's dead. Ah, bugger. Right. He's going to have some food. There we go. And this is effectively one of the problems. As soon as you lose your first party member, things start to go very, very shit very, very quickly. Um, so, yeah, it's it's not great. But we have lost Boris, which is a big, big shame. And uh, I think the food didn't really do that much, did it? Right. We do have two energy drinks, though, which is nice. So let's leave for the road again. There we go. And as you, as you see, there is a lot of repetition. It just comes and goes over and over again. Right, we heard a scream coming from distant ruins. Uh, do nothing and wait. And there's a pack of wolves. We're gonna go. Because <laughs> that is bloody bad. Uh, right, someone following us. A glimpse of a man ducking and hiding. Let's catch him and ambush him. There we go. And apparently he was never there in the first place. Just realized we should have given Anne that jacket. Um, found ourselves at a crossroad leading to either farmlands or lakes. Which path should we go on? Let's go to the farmlands. They may have food. Which would be nice. Anyway, there we go. So we've gone to a new region and we can keep on going. And it sort of goes on and on like that for quite a while. Um, it's probably an animal. Let's pick up the pace. Hmm. If they're armed, we should surrender. Okay. At least they left us alone. And that is that over. To be fair, the problem with... Uh, we're going to run away from that. The problem with a lot of these... Duck. Okay. There we go. The problem with a lot of the quick time events is you don't get time to read the uh, idea. You just have to sort of... As the name implies, you do it quickly. But oh well. Let's get closer to see if there are any supplies. Let's search it. And we're going to run. And we managed to ex uh, run away... But Anne is now dead. We got lucky. Shouldn't be more. I got lucky. There we go. And now it's just Alex. Um, we should go from here. There we go. Let's go. And we're going to make up a camp. But Alex is probably going to die very soon. That's that's how it's mm. been whenever I tried to do this in the past. So let's use food. Uh, yes. Mm. Uh, medicine. Yes. And we're going to sleep. There we go. And we're going to hit the road. So now it's just Alex walking through. Uh, in fact, the first time I did this, the moment I tried to nap when I was on my own, I actually died <laughs> just quickly. Um, tell you what, we're going to take we're going to take her stuff, which is a shame, but we need to survive. There we go. I don't even know what I got from her. I don't think I got anything useful. Uh, anything from there? Check for anything useful. We found wine. Lovely. Well, maybe we will recover one day. Whatever. And we can keep on going. Um, we're going to refuse. 
And she jumped and says, oh, shit. Uh, we won't understand people. There we go. We didn't actually lose that much health, though, which is interesting. Right, when we uh, passed the tree for the third time in a row, we realized we're lost. Let's follow the trail. And it's some um, people. We should probably hide. Okay. Hmm. Let's just wait for them to move on. And now we can go. Um, but to be honest, it, it sort of goes on like this for quite a while. Let's rob him again. We're sort of becoming horrible people, but oh well. Let's get going. And leave us alone. Leave me alone. I feel like they should change it for when there's only one person in your group or whatever. Anyway. Let's leave. We didn't really pick anything up from that, so that's fine. And let's search this place as well. Nothing. Nothing. Energy drinks. Nothing. So then we can leave. Lovely. Uh, dear. Let's go. But yeah, it sort of goes on like this until your last character dies. I haven't actually gone to the point of uh, finishing off the narrative, which is a shame. Anyway, uh, we're not going to follow that, really. I don't think we can really know what it is, so we're just going to go. We're going to ignore it. We've got some more energy boosts as well, which might be quite useful. Uh, we can't wander off the road. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's stay away from this. Unfortunately, Anne is dead. So she can't really have much of an input now. Ah, a group of kids. They're only kids. Avoid the rocks. Oh, no. The rocks has hit him. Oh, no. Prepare for a fight. We're going to beat the crap out of them. Attack first. It was... Ah, it was short and soon Soon we were thrown away. They consumed a lot of our strength and they outnumbered us. But even so, not really doing that badly. Uh, we'll set up a camp next chance we can. And we'll leave that for now and hit the road. But yeah, we need to set up a camp. Um, I'm presuming we're probably going to get attacked mm. by this point. But yeah. Hmm. There we go. We'll manage our resources. I will say, it's so much easier once the first people have died. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Uh, let's do that and use the mood booster. There we go. Apparently, alcohol is the best mood booster. And we will take a long sleep. Lovely. Now, uh, we can hit the road again and it's all good. So, here's the thing. I'm, I'm actually going to end it there for today. Here's, it's very repetitive it, it, as these games often are. It's, you know, not a bad thing at all. I don't mind it. It just makes it kind of difficult to show off in this manner. The main thing is there's only one of three things to do. You get the quick time events, you get the normal conversations, and you get the house searching segments. Those, that's pretty much it. The main focus on this game tends to be character interactions and just exploring the world you've got. And it works very well for that part. It looks good and it's got some good audio to it. It's, it's definitely a good experience. It's not one which I would play a lot. Uh, I would probably play it for a few hours, but oh well. Um, I've had some fun with it going back and forth. As I say, way easier once your first two uh, team members die. Which, as, as sour as that kind of is, it really is true. It makes the game so much easier. Uh, but there we go. Gonna end it there for today. This is Survive the Blackout. I've been Toggle Jam. And yeah. That's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't enjoy this video, well, there's always a button for you as well. So don't forget about it. In any case, there we are, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Toggle Jam. This has been in, uh, Survive the Blackout. And I'll see you next time. Bye.